Hello everybody, my name is Antwin, and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 as Germany in New World Order. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, we're just finishing up another stack of infantry, and then we're going to probably build another army after that. I don't know really where I'm going to put these guys. Probably, like, right here. Is that Berlin? No, it's, just, it's, in, it's in Brandenburg, though. We'll put them somewhere around there. Then we'll just get... I mean, we could actually just get the next stack started actually right now, so there's no reason to really wait around. So mechanized infantry 17, and then we'll just get rid of two of them. And one in Hanover, and then one in Stuttgart. Then we go one, two, three, four. They can't really care whether they're even being built. There's 30 guys right now that can be built in Berlin, so three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Doesn't really matter whether they're built. Just have as many troops as we possibly can. Bosk right now is 50, 33 with the, the French, which is kind of bad. I don't want them to be part of the French. I want them to be part of us. We are getting a little bit of influence. Who else are we influencing? Moldova and Italy. Both of them, I think, should join relatively soon, right? They are pretty close to joining, I think. Italy, I think with that friendly. Italy is friendly at... 53 points. Moldova's friendly at 52, and then um, Bosk is in our sphere at 54. So things are working out pretty okay for our sphere. We should have any issues. Catalonia actually, we might have some issues with soon. And Norway's at war with Finland and Poland. Over, I hate, no, we, we, we went over this like 30 years ago. Do we really need to have a lawn to be independent? I mean, I'll join. But I really feel like this is a stupid war that we shouldn't be a part of. And why are we losing money? This says we're making positive, positive 12, so I don't know why this is negative 282. But I guess we're at war with Poland again. I mean, who is the war leader? Is it Poland? It is Poland. So that, that, that's good for us, because they, you know, they're on our border. We already won several wars against them. Luckily, because this is actually we get called into a war, they actually do not leave our sphere, which is always nice. So we can just move troops into uh, Poland. I mean, they probably won't like me. Negative 22. But it could also be a lot worse than that. So we'll send in a handful of stacks. We'll take 2,000 uh, men to attrition. Just walking into the province, which is always nice. Yeah, they're going to go over here. They're going to try sieging some stuff down. But I'm pretty sure we should be absolutely A-OK. -okay. We'll even move two more stacks over just in case we need them. I doubt we will, but it's always just nice to have more backup than we really need. You know what, Ukraine? You want to get into falls as well? Yeah, sure. You can join. You go fight him. Should we engage? Well, I mean, we'll engage this 15 stack. Uh, we probably won't engage the 62 anytime soon. Do we have any more culture? We don't. Industry, green revolution, cattle, microcomputers, gas production. I think it's some input efficiency tech. Sounds pretty alright to me. Should win this battle pretty easily. I mean, we should just probably head our way straight to Warsaw, but I don't think we really need to do that. You guys go here. I think this is this just a pure infantry army we're fighting? It is, so we should win this relatively easily. We got a small little battle going up over there. I mean, we have more ships than they do, but I don't feel. Ooh, 10 war score to that battle. Fantastic. I think we actually stack up the army, but that might be the army right there, so maybe we didn't. Okay, so you go over here. As soon as this guy's done occupying this, he'll probably go kill a 5. Or we should maybe go engage 108. It's about 111. But we'll go here. We'll fight the 6 first. Then we'll kind of maybe... I think we have to attack this army at some point. I just don't know when. Ukraine should have that occupied very, very soon. We're at 28. This is a... 78% war score peace deal for one island of 10,000 people. Because of course, of course. It's a dumb war. Uh, we'll actually just engage with one army for now. Which one has a better attack value? Attack point 3, attack point 8. So we'll actually attack with this army. You can just kind of hang out for now until we need you to reinforce. And that's assuming we need the reinforcements. Uh, it looks like we probably will, but... So we'll go here. You guys go to Krakow. So what we're going to do is we're going to send in the other 111. We will pull these guys out as soon as they arrive. Can I not leave? 
Yeah, you guys go there. 7.9 war score, fantastic. I think they're actually maybe going here, so yeah, we'll be the defender. We'll go reoccupy our territory because there's no reason to take more exhaustion if we don't need to. I'm very close to being able just to ban the uh, the French here. Catalonia is slowly going out to Britain, so we might even put a handful of points there as well. Like Italy, Moldova, they're both you know securely in our sphere. I mean, they're not yet, but they are very very close to. Get rid of the one point we're spending in Sweden. One another battle against the Polish. We'll go meet them where they will be. And we're at forty-eight percent. How are you guys doing? We're going to occupy this province. Wonderful. I'm assuming he can't add the war goal, which is always sad, but I'm sure it should be okay. Yeah, we're already at six percent, so yeah. Well, you guys go up and around like that. No reason to take more attrition than we need to. And maybe even after this battle, we'll actually have enough war scores to win. How are you guys doing up here anyway? Terribly. Well, there's no reason to do white piece when we can just do the Alon piece deal. So now they're independent. They're actually the exact same color as Norway. Are they in my sphere? They're not. No, fa no phone, please. They're not even in my sphere, which is disappointing. Same color as Finland, so it's almost like nothing happened. These guys just go up to the borders now. Fantastic. These guys I don't think can even escape. Because I'm pretty sure we probably can't get military access through Poland. We'll keep we'll move relations with them. And see if maybe they'll ally us, but I kind of am doubting it. You guys aren't marching through our territory, right? No. Okay. That's fine then. Okay, so boss, we can ban the French. Put that down to one point. Catalonia. I think it's fine just doing what it is right now. And Italy and Moldova should join us pretty soon. I mean not like right away, but you know, close enough. Open up a few more factories. And there we go, more input efficiency. Let's get another tech here. New Keynesian economics. Sounds great. Uh, South Sudan. What, what, what's their government type? They are presidential. You know, I don't care, except for differences. I, I don't really care. As long as you give me the oil, it doesn't matter to me too much. So, India is still trying to take Oman. They're doing stuff here. Egypt is still within our control. Put one point into Oman. And Kurdistan up here exists. So I'm, I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. I mean, there will be more crises in the area. Because I think if the country exists, it's more likely that the crises will gain support. Actually, it looks like it's kind of just going to set up zero right now. Yeah, but we'll, we'll see. Where, is there any more crises likely to fire anywhere else? Saudi Arabia, Iran... That is Bangladesh. That, not because that's Pakistan. Oh, yeah, Bangladesh still doesn't exist. They, I, I forgot. They lost the war. Yeah, so, you know, got Western Pac Eastern Pakistan wants to still break off at some point. Who else is in here? Bank of Bahumi. Okay. Apparently that country exists. I did not even know that. That's fine. We got these guys still here. I don't think we'll be able to leave anytime soon. Nah. Okay, we'll just keep proof relations then. So boss is still fine. Catalonia. Britain's not even getting points with Catalonia right now. So even just having down to one star is probably good enough. Boss we still want to get points with. Italy I think is our number one concern. We want to have them in our sphere as soon as possible. I don't like that Austria is in the American sphere. But it's fine for now. As long as they're not part of the EU it doesn't really matter too, too much at the moment. What they're planning on doing. So 2006. Next year... One of these techs become available. Commented, we need this tech. That'll actually get us European cores. One step closer to becoming a European Union. And hopefully we'll be able to form it within 15 years. Well, then we'll see who actually joins in with the Union. Hopefully everybody. I, I, they can't deny the acceptance, which is really annoying. And hopefully that does not happen. Why do they keep closing the factories? Open up all the factories. Everybody get to work. We're only in 7th place in industry. That's pretty bad. That's a lot worse than what it should be. We're still building a bunch of destroyers. We're actually over the limit now. So if we just cancel all these guys then. Even though they're so close to being built, it doesn't matter. And if we're over the limit, then we actually should probably get rid of a handful of the ships we already have. So 
seven, eight, and a nine should us get get us down to three twenty. Because I think each one of these are worth two points. There we go. Okay, so we have basically 160 light chips. I mean, the Navy's trash. There's just a lot of them. They're not good at anything. But if we need to outnumber a small country, we should be able to do that. So that's a bonus. It's not a negative. I don't. I mean, it, it's. Ah, that's fine. If we need to fight Poland or you know Denmark, then you know we have an advantage there. But anyone, anyone else, where we our Navy's trash. Don't like having these three guys in Prussia. Kind of wish they could be, you know, anywhere else. They are not accept. We're keeping people in relation with them. We want them to like us. Like they, they need to like us. The Netherlands. Oh, you're actually really close with them. Okay, Britain. We will just ban you then. Don't come into Britain. Don't come into the Netherlands. Very important that you kind of stay away from here for as long as possible. Yeah, we're having... Why are you 114? Is there still a rally point here? How many times have I clicked off that rally point? 418. There's another infantry here for absolutely no reason. How about you go combine with this army then? Italy, we can actually get into our sphere. Absolutely fantastic. Add the sphere. That should mean that maybe they won't be allies with the United States. That's kind of what I'm hoping. Italy, now that you're in our sphere and doesn't look like the United States actually cares about you, will drop points off here a little bit. Get some more points with Oman. Just so that we have more points in India. So they don't want to steal them away from us. I feel like our sphere is going pretty, pretty alright. It's going pretty, pretty good. Everyone else's sphere looks like it's alright as well. Somehow, Korea went back to the American sphere. Cambodia, the Philippines. Japan just fearing random people. Because that's just what Japan does. They just fear whoever they feel like fearing. Does anybody else, does anyone not have a sphere? I think maybe Russia. Yeah, Russia's the only country with nobody in their sphere. How very, very sad. And you think these other countries, like most of these countries have been great powers for the entire game. It's surprising just how few nations they have sphered. So Japan's only sphere members are Georgia and Armenia, which is just odd. Well, okay, we're gonna save up our points till 2007. Get our European cores ready. Make sure that everybody's going to here and not rallying to, like, South Denmark. Or whatever the province is called. Flensburg. Nobody go there. And how's migration looking? Everybody loves coming to Germany. Germany's a great country and everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. Why do they want to come to our country so badly? Is it because... I think it's because we're just supporting disenfranchised and stuff. That they do like it. Does that give like a big immigration bonus? 4%. If we got promote immigration, that'd actually be like really good. Because I'd say 80%. That's a lot more people in our country that we can have in tax. And get to work. So we're in 2007. Let's get our commodities and speculation. We'll see. I don't know if there's any... I mean, we can just check how the country is seeing when they get the European cores themselves. But there's no way for me to really take a quick look around it until we research it, and we should be probably the first. So around 2009, we can probably start looking around seeing who actually has the technology and who's gotten the European cores. I'm pretty sure that gives an advantage to whether or not they'll join the European Union when it becomes one single nation. I'm not 100% too sure, but I would imagine it does influence the decision. Because it would be a little bit weird if it didn't. Okay, we can get Moldova into our sphere now. Because Moldova, nobody else cared about Moldova in the slightest. We'll add them to our sphere and just not put any points at them. Because who cares? Like, they, they don't they don't really matter. And do we even have 100% plurality yet? No, we're still at 90%. I don't know why it's taking so long to get. Catalonia, we're at 19. Well, it doesn't look like the British are interested right now, so we'll drop off a point in Catalonia. The Netherlands, we can drop off a point there. Italy, we're fine. I want to get at least some points into them. I mean, I know no one else is influencing them at all, but I want to have at least something there. Okay, and then Russia is influencing a handful of people, but that's, that's fine. Yeah, our army's pretty big. How many guys do we have? 389 brigades. We're in third place. Who's before us? I'm assuming China and... Yeah, China and India. The people who just have a lot of people in their country. I mean, we do have 
Actually, we don't have a lot of people. We're at 114 million, which isn't that much. If you look at population, how, how high are we in here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're the 10th most populated country behind Nigeria, Japan. People that make sense. Does Brazil have that many people in real life? The population seems a little bit high. I think the United States has about 100 million more people than that now. Pakistan. I mean, these, these populations are around, right? But I'm pretty sure the United States has like 300 something million. So I feel like our population is actually higher than normal. I think the population of Germany in real life is like 80 million. But, but on the other hand, Germany in real life did not annex half of Poland. So, you know, fair enough. Let's open up the factories even though they keep getting closed instantly just like the minute we open them they instantly go bankrupt again so maybe we should just stop trying to get them in our just stop getting them just stop reopening them because it doesn't really seem like it's working at all anybody else join the eu anybody oh single market macedonia you're in the eu bud you're okay so he's in the eu you're not in the eu you're not in the EU. So, I'll be, or Macedonia, I do care about you now. Let's get some points into Macedonia. I mean, there's not a lot of people in Macedonia. There is about 300,000. Apparently, they're friendly. No, they're, they're neutral. The United States just had points, so they threw them at us. For really no reason. Greece is still in the United States sphere, so that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. Disappointingly enough. Is Portugal in the EU yet? They're not. Yeah, they're just all super slow to get around to it. Ireland, are you in it? Well, Sweden I don't care about. Aland is in the EU. For some reason, we allowed them to join the EU, and there's 10,000 people there. I'll put up one point to you. Iceland, are you in it? I actually never even checked. No, there's only 43,000 people in Iceland. I... Which is, like, nobody. Uh, Norway. You're not, you're not Norway. You're Finland. Okay, he's not in it either. These guys are all in the United States sphere. Do I care about any of them? No. They're all just kind of doing their own thing. None of them want to join the EU. The EU's great. I don't think they, I don't think they quite understand that. Just how wonderful the European Union is. Macedonia. We're going to get points with the EU. 1.13. You can probably drop a point off of Oman, Italy, we're at... Nobody's even influencing them, so we'll just drop a point there. I know Bosque is more important because the French will try to influence them soon. Oman, we're at 46, we can drop them. Aland, I do want to get pointed to them because they are part of the EU. Even though there's like nobody there. They're mostly Swedish as well, even though it's almost impossible to tell different colors. There we go, we can join the European Political Union. I don't think this does anything other than just get the cores here. It would actually be really disappointed. It would be really, really disappointing if, like, France or something created the European Union. But I doubt that's going to happen. I really, really, I mean, I really hope so. I think the next tech comes with Asia Protest, which is available in 2012. So we can't really get the next step quite yet. So until then, we can kind of focus on other things. Mobile network, mobilization speed... Cattle production, microcomputers, comments, administration. Let's get some more tax efficiency. That sounds quite good. Who doesn't like having more money? And we're not taxing a lot. We're having, we have an efficient tax rate of, you know, 14%. And 13% on the, on the poor, so... Taxes aren't high. Also, military spending is way too high. I don't know why we're spending that much on our armed forces right now. We're not at war. I don't see us going to war anytime soon. I don't know if we even have any cautious bellies against anybody other than probably South Africa because they've we've been able to attack them forever. Still at 35. Anybody else in the world have anyone? No. Okay, that's fine then. I like how the Netherlands actually still controls West Papua. I don't. They they still control this. That's Indonesia. Indonesia in. I think this is part of Indonesia in real life as well, isn't it? Yeah. Indonesia right now is in four separate countries. Actually, five. Wait, wait. Are you... Okay, no, this isn't part of Indonesia. But Indonesia is in three or four separate countries. I don't know if this is actually in Indonesia. I think it is. But four separate countries make up one country in real life, so... Imagine how much population would be in Indonesia. 
if, like, there's 32 million, there's about 100 and something million now. So it'd be 100 million plus, I guess that's not a lot of people there. I guess there's not a lot of people in the other place as well, so I guess it's actually not a big deal. And is this a state? No, it is, it is a colony. Come on, Ellen, what are you doing? You still, I mean, France actually spells co colonies as well, which is a bit odd. Actually, they're not really even colonies. There are, mo there are more Frenchmen there than there is really anybody else. So, I mean, it's actually, it is a state. It's not considered a colony. Which is a little bit odd. Yeah, so you, see, you can see right here we have the European cores. Kind of, so we can take a quick look around, see if anybody else has the cores. And then you can tell, you know, nobody else has it. That's not too surprising. We did kind of focus it a little bit. But we should hopefully, I mean, what you can do, what you, what you can do is you can just release the European Union. You can just, you can just release them through, uh, through that. Which I feel is a little bit broken, but I, I can understand why. I'm pretty sure the AI will never release the country. But if you want to form the European Union right away, you can just do that. And I feel dumb for pressing up one reform and they made it so that we can't just attack people for cores. Kind of wish we kind of could, you know, reverse that issue we had about the no core CBs. But I'm sure it's fine. How many guys are still being built? Not a lot. So that's always nice. We'll probably just build like one giant stack. And you know what? We can do that right now. Assuming that nobody else wants to go to Berlin. I'm just going to build one giant stack in Berlin of just every infantry and stuff. No, but that'll actually take eons. That'll take eons and eons to finish. That'll take probably like 50 years for Berlin to build an entire stack just for themselves. So, that probably wouldn't work out too, too well for us. These guys are being done sometime in mid-2008. So, you know, look, we're, you know, we're almost there. Go to speed 4. Still a lot of things. What's the next election actually? Is it next year? July 1st next year. Okay. So very, very soon. So half the year. I and mean, who, who looks like they're going to win? It could be the socialist. But yeah, I feel like you have to look at the electoral vote. This is the vote that actually matters. The population identity, you know, here is irrelevant. It seems like this is the circle you actually want to look at. It looks like the liberals are going to win. They've got a quarter of the population. Followed by Socialist. I think these guys are also another Liberal Party, so... Yeah, the, the two Liberal Parties make up almost a third of the population, so... They're probably going to win again. Macedonia, we can get up to Cordial. We will absolutely use that. Opinion. Wonderful. 99, we're very, very close. Prestige, tax efficiency goes up. How much does it actually give us? It's a it's a 1% tax efficiency increase, which is almost nothing. I can understand why they nerfed it a bit, because, you know, the population numbers are just a lot bigger. Green Revolution, you know, let's get some microcomputers. We'll get to Commodore 64, yeah, it'd be awesome. 2008, year the Commodore 64. Um, seems like the, yeah, sure. Locals can do whatever they want. I'm not too concerned with what the locals are doing. And I feel like after this, we're going to start getting another army set up. Build tanks. We can just get them kind of like that, just so there are six. There we go. So we're going to get another army started as soon as these ones are finished. Permanent prestige. Why are we losing money now? Oh, it's probably because we're buying uh, war materials. Yeah, that's absolutely what we're doing. Okay, well, that's fine. This is, this is what spending on maximum. It, like, it doesn't really matter too, too much to me. Tax efficiency. So now, well, we're taxing them at 14%. It's crazy, man. No, 13.19. It, it didn't even go up by 1%. So, but what I feel like, I feel like this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not, enjoyed, throw me some down. Want to see more? Subscribe and goodbye.